Joe Decibel System, one of the most unique bands in Cleveland and two of the most recognizable faces from Cleveland's past musical history. John Scully, Miss Malvis. We were talking the other night. You don't even remember how many bands you were in. No, because time, yeah. you've been through the ringer so many times. And Mel, you've been through a number of bands as well. I have. I was just trying to remember my, the ones I was in, actually. <laughs> and, and so now the two of you together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have brought your influences, your influences, and created a sound that I don't know that anybody can really identify. <laughs> Neither can we, so. <laughs> yeah, we, we're, we're, we have we're, trouble ourselves yeah, figuring out. You can't be pigeonholed. You just can't. Yeah, we don't want to be, so. And, but, like we were talking about the other night, um, duodecibel system is literally a duo, and there are all these new duo bands that are coming out mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And I don't know if White Stripes actually kicked off that trend, but they were certainly some of the earliest that were, you know, doing just drumming guitar. Mm -hmm. And um, so now there's all these other bands, and John, you do the drums. Um, you told me you had like nine drum kits. Yeah. <laughs> this guy makes his own drums. No, I don't. I don't. You know, I, 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 I don't, don't, I don't you, make the drums. I, I, you put the kits together. I arrange them. And yeah. Yeah. yes, and mm -hmm. come up with some very interesting configurations. Right. Um, and Mel is the guitarist in the group. And it's more singer these days. And but Ann can get a guitar. And <laughs> I'm just kidding. And she's, <laughs> and she's she's the leader of the band, by the way. Oh, stop it! We're, yes. we're arguing over this. No, 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 no. I, I was. That's that's the that's the way it okay, is. Fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm we're sorry. Hey, you know if if. <laughs> if. <laughs> So anyway, um, so I, you're the primary songwriter, oh, right? Not so much anymore. I was at the beginning, but not not now necessarily. Well, it goes in waves. Could, yeah, it goes, yeah. kind of goes back and forth. Right now, he is. <laughs> I well, I, I'll create tracks at home, and then I'll share those with Mel, and she'll either think of something to do over the top, or is it like, ah, that's just not working for us, or She'll send me every now and then just a vocal line that she records into her phone. She'll send it to me via text, and then I can create tracks based on that too. And I, I take that I take that sample and I, I loop it and and um, chop it up, and I'll send it back to her. I go, what do you think of this? Let's take it's good. Let's let's move this here and all that stuff. We do things like that. Well, I'm glad you mentioned it because I, I'm I'm going to throw in a plug for myself here because John, you did that for me. Well, yeah, it's right. For my pro, for for my single of psychedelic soul. After stock more moonlighting. Right? Right? Yes. More moonlighting. He's doing. No, 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 no. I, I, I know this I wrote was a drum in the track past. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did, did this awesome drum track. It's like really bubbly, really psychedelic, I and mean, it was just like it was just perfect. So, again, you know, thank you for did that. You Oh yeah, it's oh, on my Bandcamp page. Oh, cool. So and it's on Spotify. I gotta check that out. It's on Spotify. It's on Spotify. <laughs> 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 but um, anyway, um, so but what what I was trying to get at more or less was not so much uh, how the songs were coming together, but as much as like your lyrics. And his musical ideas? Right now, that's how it is, yes. It hasn't always been, 
Because because when I listen to your stuff, it always seems very personal. It is personal, very 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 personal. So I always yeah. you know it was just of the idea that that you were the one that was right writing, writing yeah, the mean, lyrics, and then for between sure, the two yeah, of yeah. you mm-hmm. coming up with the musical tracks to go along. That's with true. Yeah. That is altogether true. Yeah. yeah, I don't write any lyrics. I don't I don't often even ask John to edit his music. Like sometimes it's missing, maybe, and this is no offense. But sometimes it's missing, you know, profound change or a, a jump up or something that would indicate that it's moving in a direction. And I just sort of kind of work around it and kind of imagine what it would be. That's the train. Um, Freight train. And just kind of come up with something. We, yeah. You have a song about we do, that. Yes, we, we do. do. Synchronicities. I love synchronicities. Uh, isn't it great? Yes. It's great. I like that you said that and nothing else, that it was synchronicity. Yeah. <laughs> French <laughs> French, <laughs> French <laughs> No, so fast. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Freight Train wins. As you were saying. Actually, that song, Freight Train, there's a line, um, I hear the freight train wheels, I hear the freight train cars. Oh, it's lighter later now was literally me you know, on a March day, like looking at the sky at some rehearsal with some other dudes that were playing that song with me. And they, um, I just kept saying, oh, it's lighter later now, thank God, you know. <laughs> Which is what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like all of a sudden, it's like one day it's like it's dark and you know, it's suddenly dark. you realize it's like, wait a minute. It's, it's been dark for like a week now. <laughs> it's it's yeah. later and it's light. Yeah, yes. well, that finally happens, and it creeps up on you. It's not like it gradually gets lighter. It suddenly, like, lighten at 6.30. You're like, what happened? I didn't notice that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, yeah. So the lyrics, you know, coming coming from your thing. Like, one of my favorite songs of yours is Love Your Mother, obviously. A lot that of people like that one, yeah. Very deep, you know. This is our, our uh, anthem. It's called Love Your Mother. Any kind of mother you want. Earth, your real mother, your fake mother, I don't give a fuck. Mother, could be a cat, I don't give a shit. Love it.
probably say like yeah I like that's a good one <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what you would know, say it you know but no she I it's not really written about her for her I don't know where it even came from it just not maybe maybe somewhere inside maybe but deep inside yeah, yeah and and then spread out to right. all the mothers right. that are out I have there to emphasize for various reasons I cannot disclose at this time that when we play it I must specify that mother could be anything yes earth a real mother a fake mother grandmother any kind of mother cat I don't care it's just symbolizing the mother, right. like your mother particularly. <laughs> Do you right. remember how this, the music for that originated? I don't. Do you? So I have a bunch of songs out on SoundCloud. Okay, oh, I that do I, know, yeah. That I've been doing for like going back 10 years now, I think. Just like electronics type stuff. Lots of exper it's experimental. And this one track uh, called Sauerkraut that has just this drum loop. It's, it's a really nasty sounding drum loop, really heavy sounding. Um, and uh, I have this uh, sampled German women speaking over the top and I, and I looped them and, and it's, it's just, it sounds like, it's a crazy sounding song. So I brought it to Mel and I said, you think we could do something with this? And so, so I started playing the beat on the drums and she started pulling guitar over the top and next thing you know we, we had a, a, a ver verses and then a chorus and then a, um, an al alternate part in the middle and, and, uh, yeah. and she started singing about her mom. Or Not some, oh no, I'm sorry, mom. or some, a mom, all moms. I don't know how that all came about, but there's, there is the cat at the microphone yet again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to get a picture of it at yeah, another angle when it happens. Um, so, actually, I'm, you see, I, I like these kinds of interviews where they lead you in the direction where you are actually getting ready to go anyway. I'm glad you mentioned drum loops, because one of, the integral parts of the Odespo system are the drum loops, the triggers, and everything that put all the backing to your frenetic drumming. And if you haven't seen this guy play drums, you don't just listen to him, you watch. Because this guy, he's just got flair. And so your drum loops and, and synthesizers that are tied in your triggers mixed with your guitars and everything. I mean, creates a sound that I just, you know, don't know exists anywhere else. Well, I appreciate that, That's yeah. so sweet of you to say. <laughs> no, I mean, we, we, we're just, you know, I think that happens when you have two people that just are doing their thing and it somehow happens to, do not drink that, Lupe, no. <laughs> um, yeah. We're just, we just want to try to make something together and whatever comes out of us happens to match, you know. 
We have some friends we play with that are from, one of them is from another band he plays in. And when we get together, it's really magical lately. Like, we've just been, the writing just becomes so much easier because this piano really, like, it takes me for the ride, you know, and mm -hmm. I can do what I need to do over it vocally. Um, so it's all fun, but yeah, there's just, uh, I don't even remember what we were started talking about. See, but it's okay because <laughs> you did it again because you mentioned the other bands that this guy is in. So you got the decibel system. You've got the jazz trio that you're doing. Right, slow burn is called. Slow yeah. burn. Yeah. And there's one other project I believe that you're involved with. Kiss me deadly. Uh, well, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's it. So <laughs> so these are three wildly different types of music. They are. And how do you go from what you do with Duo Decibel System to a kind of freeform jazz to Kiss Me Deadly's more succinct alternative sound? Well, that's a good question. I, I don't know how to answer it but without saying that, that I just figured out how to do it over the years. Uh, well, you have been in a whole bunch of different yeah, types of bands. But, I, but I'm, I'm influenced by a lot of different varieties of music. So that that th those those st different styles that I listen to, I'm really focused on integrating that into my uh, re my repertoire. And so Latin is very important to me. So I like I like I like I bring that to the table. And then jazz, I it took me a long time to learn how to swing. I eventually taught myself how to do that. And then um, I also played learning how to play quietly too, dynamics and, and like bringing it way down. And then that's uh, part of the flair that yeah, I was and talking then, about. And then what also helped significantly is that when I play at the backing tracks, I wear headphones because there's a click track playing. So that, that I don't hear that. No, Mel doesn't hear that. She, but she's got good time to be anyways. Clear, yeah, yeah. But, but the thing is, like all those things culminate in duo decibel system. You know, yeah. we have a little of all that stuff is in there. Yeah. And we have so many different types of songs, and it's getting to the point too where. I mean, I know people have hundreds of songs, but we have quite a number of songs now, and um, I don't want to throw. It's you want you you're quick to want to throw away stuff, you know, that you've been doing or you mm -hmm. did in the past. But I don't believe in that. I think you need to keep that stuff fresh, and it's always good to hear a, a, a musician's sort of earlier things, and they're going to play them much more proficiently later on. You right. Know? Um, well, you just did uh, a, a couple of new songs at the show. That we have you a did lot of yeah, we have a lot of new ones. Yeah, in fact, uh, I, th there's a there's a waiting line <laughs> of new songs ready to. to there's to, a backlog. Backlog. Back okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a backlog. It's a good problem to have. Yeah, it's not but, um, bad. But uh, I, I did did want to say one thing though, because like uh, you know, I I do the I create the programming for the the backing tracks and all that. I do that at home in my software, and. Um, I only started doing that when we, when Mel and I started recording the first CD. Uh, what's it called? Exit Stage Love. Yeah. Okay. And we, uh, and we were initially recording it, and it was just the guitar and drums. We didn't have anything else. And I'm like, ah, there's something missing here. <laughs> Obviously, a bass line. So I started dabbling at home. I think I and I told Mel. I, th I said I think I can do this. And because I had kind of abandoned my electronic stuff, and uh, no one, uh, the other bands that I was in at that time before that, no one was interested in that stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and they, and, uh, and being the drummer, I'm not allowed to write songs. Well, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, you were, we were talking about hardcore punk bands, and yeah, yeah, but I was, yeah, but I was still playing like bands that that did jazz and stuff like that. But they were not interested in my ideas. Anyways, Mel, bless her heart, was the only one that gave me the opportunity to to to. to uh, do that, start doing that, and learn learn how to do it. And I started becoming better and better at it. Watched a lot of t YouTube videos, you know, yeah. and and eventually I um, I, I think uh, we, yeah. we created a whole it just ton, of, ton of original really. music, yeah, yeah. yeah. unique okay. music, yeah. And 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 the culmination of that is one of the best bands in Cleveland oh, today. That's Thank really you, nice appreciate that. I, I'm I'm serious. I mean, you know how long I've 
you know, been coming to your shows and stuff. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. we, we know how long we've been doing them. I, I, <laughs> keep, I keep coming back it, because yeah, they're, on 10, right? yeah, because because they're the excellent summer. shows. Yeah. So, you yeah. Know. yeah, our 10th anniversary is this summer. It's really not the summer, but it is. Because remember, we got together in the autumn the first time I called you. Okay, yeah. To do that Akron show. We did our, that fall show, but we count it as, I think, the summer being our anniversary. Right, yeah. So what, could we, we do house concerts, you know, it'll be our 10th, well, it'll be our 10th house right. concert mm -hmm. this year, in June. So, um, okay. But, uh, so, everything is, like I said, culminated in one of the best bands in Cleveland. Now, you got, how many uh, releases do you have? Because you've got both EPs and full albums, right? One, two, three, four. Four CDs? Well, no, one's was a download. But what are the other two? Exit Stage Love. Slow Wave. Slow Wave. <laughs> And then the latest one, latest one, and then the one that we put out in the middle, four or five sticks. Oh, I forgot about four or five sticks. Yeah. Okay, so we have four, and we have a bunch of singles out online. You can get them anywhere. Either. Which reminds me, so you've seen us when we played at the Go Factory? You know, all those signs? Those performances we did when we, you videoed it. We, uh, okay. It, we had a concept show. We had, we had a like conceptual. Conceptual show. Oh, 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 okay. So that's that, that's that place that seems to change its name. Right, like yeah. Almost every time there's this but that's, something going on in that. But the, it's, it's, uh, it's, like, it's, it's kind of like the underground. That was when I saw that little cube projector that you've got. Yeah, yeah. That still freaks me out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that, the all go signs, uh, or otherwise the Go Factory, that's like the Cleveland Underground experimental scene. And um, they have like uh, one show every, the, thir the third Friday, third Tuesday of every month? Or fourth? Is it I don't know, I don't go anywhere. Well, it's not the third, because the third is Outlab. Right, so, so it's, it's the fourth. And then, you know, the, the, depending, and through COVID it kind of stopped happening. But anyways, and they'll, they'll, they'll have different... Uh, Experimental acts from some from out of the state, uh, others just local and all that stuff. And so we, for two or three of them, we created a whole original piece, like an hour long, and something that we never played those songs ever again. You and Alex? No. No. Mel and Alex oh, yeah. Two. Two. One of them turned into that CD, Four or Five Sticks. That okay. That was a show we did. Yes. Okay. We, and um, you know, John kind of wrote them. One was. A, Centered around lunar activity. I oh, I came up with one idea, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. And the, about and the years of life. Right. Yeah. yeah, that was the second one. That oh, was four or five sticks. And um, the first one, slow wave, it was in was it five sections or six? Six. I can't, yeah. can't remember, but it's like the six stages of sleep. And mm -hmm. and, uh, and and we collaborated with uh, a, a local artist, Mark Jenks, and his wife Patty, and they created a, a whole set for us. Yeah. Of like just cool found objects and 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 like I had kind of a mad scientist sort of set up where I was, and I didn't play drums on that. I just played. Um, uh, I had uh, my electronic setup and I had a theremin, and uh, um, and Mel played guitar and she was up on this uh, kind of like chair and, and, she, and yeah. And so and, and we and went and played that it. at some art thing in Michigan. Yeah, we Detroit. did in Michigan, Detroit too. Had like yeah. an art music gallery that was in the middle of an. Abandoned home street. Yeah. <laughs> well, those streets, like, yeah, you know, a normal well, street like in Detroit. Yeah. A mansion, and then there's like twelve lots that are vacant. Yeah. And yeah. Another yeah. mansion, and but anyway. So we have those, and we don't even count those as part of our music anymore. Yeah, we don't really. Yeah. No, well, we don't play them. Well, there's one song we play, Progress Report. That's about it. Yeah. That's After it. All then, that. You know. yeah. So, um, um, the obvious next thing to talk about here. Is Mel and Home and Garden? Yeah. How did that happen? Because well, Home and Garden, um, okay, this is a separate thing from what happened this past Sunday where Anita Keys and friends played with John here on drums. And Home and Garden, Scott Cross and Robert Wheeler's project with Mel on guitar and then Duo Decibel System played that show. Those videos are uh, going to be up on my channel so they can be seen. So, yes, how did you become involved with 
No, it goes, such a, 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 I mean... It goes so far back. Home and Garden, yes, Home and yeah. Garden goes back to like 1982. Well, for I me, it say. goes way further back than Sunday, but ultimately, the, the try to make this brief, Scott Krause and I worked at a store called Record Revolution on Coventry and Cleveland Heights. Oh, the late lamented yeah. place, yes. And, um... At that time, Scott was playing very ambient, kind of creating weird. If I recall, he was had like a what do you call those? Like uh, not a CB radio, but uh, my brother does this. Oh, ham radio. Ham radio operator. He had like ham radios dialed in, and would get like whirly sounds, but they were vague sounds. And I remember he took me in the basement and was trying to get me to hear this song. And he was like, "Here it is. Here it is. Here it is." There's the one. <laughs> but all I ever heard was... Which is interesting considering the fact that, you know, Scott was... Is is such an accomplished and, you well, know... Well, that's it, but at experienced that time... Experienced <laughs> drummer. So at any rate, somehow... <clears throat> this led to us playing together. I don't know how it ended up that I ended up... At, well, I know that Scott had put together... A couple shows that I was a part of where they were playing. Um, who was the guy that talked about fine wine back in the day? He was oh, an actor. Orson Welles. Orson Welles. Some Orson Welles movie played, and we created a, a the, the music for it while it was playing at the MoCA Museum of Contemporary Art. Okay. This was several 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 years back, and I was somehow part of that with um, Ryan and. Some other people, you know. That uh, Anita's Ryan? No, 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 Ryan, um, I don't even know his last name. People that had previously played in Home and Garden. Oh, okay, um, okay. And <laughs> we were all doing list? that, and then I just sort of morphed into Home and Garden, or I was in Home and Garden, and then even when I was living in Austin, Texas for a while, in the early 2010s, whatever you call that, um, Scott and I put out two singles with Mike Watt. <laughs>
Because that's pretty fucking awesome. No, that was cool. Yes, and then, me. you know, I came back and didn't really talk to Scott much. <laughs> and then found out he was looking to get in touch with me through John. And so I finally called him. And I think I had some issues I wasn't addressing. And John's like, you better call that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I called him. And lo and behold, he wanted to try to put this back together. And... Yeah, we don't play often, but when we do, it's real fun. And well, well, yeah, I mean, it really is a rare treat. It's an and honor, really, for me to be playing with them like that. But, but, but I want to go back to this Mike, Mike Watt thing. How did that whole thing come about? I'm sure because through Scott somehow, I have no idea. But, but Mike is a big fan of ours, and now... Whenever we uh, wait, do wait, new, which, which hours? Home and Garden yeah, hours? Duo or the Duo Decimal System? So he plays. Really? Uh, he played our Christmas song and his yeah, he's Christmas interviewed show. us three times. Oh, oh that is so yeah. cool! So he's become he's a nice, awesome. like you know. Uh, that, for for those who don't know, Mike Watt was the guy that like made hardcore punk in Washington D.C. a thing, and you know, um, for somebody with that kind of you know um, history behind them. To like be one of pushing you, he's yeah. Like I said, does a lot about him. One of the best bands in Cleveland, yeah. and that just proves my it's point. Sweet. Right it's sweet. It's nice too to be like next to like John Coltrane on the playlist or yeah, something like that. You know, yeah. it'll be like John Coltrane duo decimal system. I'm like, yeah, I'm liking the way that looks. <laughs> What 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 else can you say? I don't know. John, Mel, thank you so much. This thank, you. Really You're so thank you. Thank you. so sweet. Thank you. Jeff Redding, Sweet Meg, signing off.